Why do we factor, Tony? Well, why wouldn't we? Why did we fly to the moon? Why do we put candles on birthday cakes? It, it, okay, I was going somewhere with that, but anyway. Why do we factor? Well, one reason we factor is to solve equations. And the way in which we do this is actually quite clever. Take x squared plus 2x equals 0, for example. Well, this is, well, whatever. But after we factor, we've got two things multiplying to each other. Yes! Are you getting it? Okay, not yet. But anyway, this is the key. If we take one of these factors and set it equal to 0, that would give us 0 times x plus 2, which would equal 0, which is true. And check this out. If we set the other factor equal to 0, that would be x times 0. That's also going to equal 0. And because multiplying anything times 0 gives you an answer of 0, we can set each factor equal to 0 and then solve from there. In this case, we'd get x equals 0 and x equals negative 2. So, to solve by factoring, first, the equation has to be set equal to zero. Second, you've got to factor. Using necessary factoring techniques. And then, only then, then, you set each factor equal to zero and solve. All right, here we've got x minus two times x plus one equals zero. First, it's set equal to zero. Second, it looks like it's already pre-factored. Great, that's x minus two times x plus one. Lastly, we can set each factor equal to 0, x minus 2 equals 0, and x plus 1 equals 0. Solving from there, we get our answers, x equals 2 and negative 1. Like always when solving equations, feel free to plug these back in and double check to make sure it's correct. Next, we've got x squared minus 4 equals 0. We're equal to 0, good. Let's see if we can factor this out. This is a difference of squares. That's going to give us x minus 2 times x plus 2 equals 0. Breaking that down, we get x minus 2 equals 0, x plus 2 equals 0. And solving, we get our answers, 2 and negative 2. Okay, x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. What do you think? Yes, we're set equal to 0. Let's factor. That gives us x minus 3 times x minus 2 equal to 0. Break it down. x minus 3 equals 0, x minus 2 equals 0. And you did it. X equals 3 and X equals 2. Factoring. Every now and then it gets a little bit harder, but I still gotta do it. Factoring. That's my factor ringtone. Ba dum tss. $2.99 iTunes. Anyhow, we can handle this. It's not equal to zero, but we can make that happen. Doing a little plus one over here and a little plus one over here. We're going to get y squared plus 7x plus 6 equals 0. Now let's factor. And we get y plus 6 times y plus 1. And setting each of those equal to 0, we get y equals negative 6 and y equals negative 1. 